Oh my god. Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I have just been talking to myself for nine minutes. Nine minutes. <laughs> I hit go live. And sometimes the YouTube screen, it like just, it keeps loading until you come off of it and go back in. I was like, I thought the chat was quiet tonight. I have literally been nattering away to me, myself and I. I'm on page three, if you haven't noticed. I'm on page, Greg, thank you for messaging me because we would have got like, and the butler tried to call me. We would have got like 25 minutes in. I don't know why it does that. You press the button and you tit until you come off the screen and go back in. It then doesn't register. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. <sighs> Guys, let's 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 start this again, shall we? Where's the face? Hello, everyone. Welcome in to the PWCC Live Weekly Auction. I've already said this once, but I'm going to say it again because no one was here listening. We are here every single Sunday at the same time watching the auctions as they take place. Oh, I was on such a good roll as well with the... Oh, I cannot believe it. Thank you, everyone, for like lingering and waiting for me <laughs> to appear. But here we are. We're ready to go. We've got the oopsie daisies in the chat. Guys, it is 12 minutes past one in the morning here. So do bear with me a bit. But I was saying at the beginning how like I wasn't tired and I was raring to go for this. And I've got my Udi on to keep me warm tonight. I've got no co-host. It's just me, myself and I. But none of you heard any of that. So guys, welcome in the weekly PWCC auction. It's not a Chloe stream with like a little slip up here or there. Um, it's a big stream tonight, guys. Over six, well, no, nearly 6,000 items. It's 5.9 thousand, 5.9 K plus, basically, is what it says on the page. Um, nearly 6,000 just Pokemon items up tonight. So that is a lot and a lot of Pokemon items to get through. Like I said, and none of you heard it, we'll try and get through as much as we possibly can. But there is so much available tonight. There's so many goodies. We're ready to go. Honestly... Solo streams can be dangerous. Should we go to the PWCC screen and show you guys what I was just looking at? Okay, here we go. We are in. We are ready to go. There it is. That beautiful view that we see every single week. Um, lots of gold stars, lots of ponchos. Biggest item currently at the moment is a PSA 10 Art Academy Pikachu. It's the Raincoat Pikachu. I was just explaining five minutes ago um, how a friend of mine actually owns a copy of this card. Um, and I know that he'll be watching and be intrigued to see where this ends tonight. Um, we do see Art Academies come up, not on a regular basis with these auctions. Um, so it's always interesting to see when these bigger um, ticket items do appear um, and we can see what the, uh, what the market is saying on them. Um, we've also got this which i thought was pretty cool this is psa 10 set of the um base set shadowless non hollows um and it includes the red and yellow cheeks pika i was saying that um i'm gonna keep saying that because i already said this once um that we very rarely i feel since i've been doing these streams see like auction lots where there is big groups of slabs all together in one lot. Um, so it's pretty cool to see these when they do come up. Um, so again, we'll open that, we'll keep an eye on it, we'll come back to it, but we'll just have a little scroll through to see what else we've got going on. We've got our ponchos, we've got some Masaki tens tonight as well. Um, we have got the shiny plasma Galezard. Um, We have got Admiral, welcome in, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sam mentioned that to me um, about them not grading art academies. Uh, we got a shadowless Venusaur in a 10 tonight. Greg, the WhatsApp did work. Without you, I'd still be here chatting away to myself. Uh, we have got the Legendary Collection Jumbo Zard. Um, I actually really like this. I mean, I love Legendary Collection. So maybe I'm a bit biased. Um, but this card is actually a box topper that comes in Legendary Collection booster boxes. There's four different box toppers. Charizard is one of them. Um, sometimes when you do the peep test on the box, you can actually kind of see what the box topper is going to be because you can see the color. Um, but yeah, the Charizard is one of them. It's got that cool sort of speckled pattern. It's like the blown up version of the reverse hollows with a slightly different pattern. Um, lots of ponchos. Like I said, gold stars left, right and center tonight. I mean, this is one of the biggest Pokemon lots I've seen up. 
um, on a Sunday stream in a long time. 5.9K plus items, which is used. That's just Pokemon as well. That's not sports. That's not any other categories. And don't worry, we'll get into all of that in a little bit. More gold stars. We've got a base set Blastoise in a 10. We've got Karen's Umbreon. We've got some of the art collection Zars. These are very, very cool. Um, I've been fairly lucky grading these cards before. Um, I've sent quite a few off now and hit a 10 every single time. So I feel like they're fairly easy to grade and get a good grade with it. Um, Legendary Collection Alakazam is my favorite. I only got a seven. Nice, still nice though. Legendary Collection is Legendary Collection. Mango V Star, welcome in. How are we doing? Hey Chloe, when can we expect you to break an Aquapolis box? So Ben, I actually did an Aquapolis box break last year. Um, we did it for charity as well, which was insane. So we opened Aquapolis, we opened base set, and we auctioned off a couple of other things during the stream. And overall, we raised just over $52,000 for a charity in Florida. Um, and it was one of the most insane like events and things I've been part of. Want to say a massive shout out to Yummy Cards because without him, it would not have been possible. Um, so yeah, that's the one time I've opened Aquapolis and we had everyone come on the stream because we did it at card party um, and it was insane. So yeah, that was a very, very cool experience last year. Um, okay, so we have got Shiny Rayquaza. Love that. We've got a couple of black labels tonight as well. You say Aquapolis too Britishly. I've never heard the name Britishly before. Never heard the word Britishly before, but I like it. I'm going to stick with it. We have got a Moonbryon in a PSA 10 tonight. So Evolving Sky is going up at the moment. Fusion Strike as well. Um, I feel like this is just my take obviously it's an opinion it's not gonna be everyone else's opinion i haven't really been enjoying a lot of the main sets from scarlet and violet i don't know what it is um i just haven't been as drawn to them as i did when as like i have been with sword and shield sets sun and moon etc um apart from 151 really enjoyed that they did a great job with that powder and fates i have enjoyed as well not sure if i'm gonna master set that yet but i have been enjoying powder and fates but um, I feel like maybe a few other people have that kind of like feeling and we're starting to see people now dip back into some of the sword and shield sets and maybe start work on mastering some of those. And I feel like that's where a lot of we're seeing a bit of a price increase with some of those sets at the moment. Um, once upon a time, you promised me a triple box break. Greg, I did until I bought a fake Sky Ridge box and that put a spanner in the works. So unfortunately that closed that dream down but don't worry don't worry never say never um yeah so i feel like obviously a lot of people in the chat agreeing as well um i feel like people are deciding right not going to spend my money on scarlet and violet let's go a little bit further back let's go to sword and shield evolving skies fusion strike chilling rain etc great all arts great sets um and yeah, I feel like we're seeing, you know, Fusion Strike especially these last couple of weeks has definitely been bumping up in price as well. Uh, really nice shiny Pikachu as well. I love that there. Um, I mean, there's just, there's so much up tonight. There is so much up tonight. Yes, I bought a fake Skyridge box last year. One of the best fakes I've ever seen. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it if I thought it was fake. Um, but the situation got resolved. It was all fine in the end. But yeah, it, it happens. It does happen. Um, okay, so we've got Battle Festazard. We've got the Charizard from Stormfront. This is the Japanese version in a 10. The English and Japanese have quite a big um, price difference, um, which is interesting. Sometimes with English, you get more expensive cards in particular in an English language, and sometimes they're more expensive in Japanese. It just varies depending on the card and the set. Um... I did Scarlet and Violet base, but then steered away. I did really enjoy all Paldea Evolved. I thought that was a great set with some great cards. But yeah, I just haven't, mm, I just have not been really drawn to any Scarlet and Violet era um, sets apart from the hol excuse me, apart from the holiday sets so far. Um, I feel like I've done a really good job with those, to be fair. Okay, let's keep going. We've got Expedition Reverse Zard in a 10. We've got the Japanese Mew Tube there. Love that Espeon. Shiny Blastoise from Plasma Gale also in a 10. The Charizard is up tonight as well. Um, let's have a little look. Lots of first edition. Watsy, we've got some top 16. That's from Worlds of last year because it's Paradise Resort. Um, so like I said, lots and lots available tonight. And don't worry, it's not just all expensive items. There are really affordable items as well. We'll look at the lower end in a minute. But I do mention every single stream and I will say it again. If there's anything you guys are selling this week, with PWCC and you're happy to let us know in the chat, please do. And if you're buying anything um, this week, um, please let us know in the chat as well. Um, and yeah, okay. 
Right, let's keep going. Um, I mean, there's, there, I don't even know where to start. We've, we're seeing these every single week at the moment. We're seeing them every single week. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got Beedrill V or R Japanese in a 10. Van Gogh Pika in a 10. Shinings in 10s. More Karen's Umbreon. We've got Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Booster Box. I'm really in my Sun and Moon phase at the moment. I really have been enjoying opening Sun and Moon era. I want to do some Sun and Moon era case breaks. Maybe Team Art. Maybe Unbroken Bonds. Maybe Cosmic Eclipse. I love Unbroken Bonds. Um... We have got Japanese Tag Team All-Stars right there. The uh, Dark Rye and Umbreon, very nice. A couple of celebrations, UPCs. We've seen this a little bit recently as well. Uh, we've got some graded booster packs. A couple of Neo Genesis packs floating around there. More Van Gogh, Pika. I mean... If, if you were to, like, name every type of different card within the TCG, I feel like there's one of everything up today. This is insane. I feel like we saw one of these sticker boxes last week, I'm pretty sure. There's another one there. Um, all arts left, right, and center. Burning Shadows, Charizard as well. We've got Cynthia from Ultra Shiny GX. We have got the Japanese and the English Rainbow Chonkachu, both sitting next to each other. Both at $180 at the moment. Do remember extended bidding doesn't start for another 37 minutes at the moment. Uh, more Masaki promos. We've got a six there on the Alakazam. And if you have just joined, guys, do hit that like button on your way in. I need to hydrate. I've got my lemon water with me today to get me through because I've got no co-host. So there's going to be a lot of talking from me. Chloe, I'm solo. I am solo. Zetch... Zetch just didn't make the cut tonight and neither did the butler. So it's just me, myself and I. And I, m my YouTube go live, didn't go live at the start of the stream. So I was talking to myself for like a solid nine minutes until Greg texts me to be like, I think you were meant to go live. I think you were meant to go live. I love these EV campaign um, promos as well. We're seeing a lot of those at the moment. I'll go to page eight and then maybe what we'll do is we'll go down to the lower end, see what's in the lower end, and then we'll do my top picks for the stream. We've got the bubble Mew right there. I opened the most insane Mew God pack ever. I opened a pack of Powder and Fates and we got the full art shiny Mew and the bubble Mew in one pack. Round of applause. Honestly, it was insane. It was a you had to be there kind of moment, but it 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 was a few people in the chat will know they were in the stream. Uh, more worlds cards, couple of staff stamps tonight, some VS, some Japanese mysterious mountains, Japanese E series right there as well. Really love this card, the Raichu and Alolan Raichu. Herbert, thank you for the round of applause. I appreciate you. Um, really really nice card. The Sun and Moon All Arts. Ha. Oh. I just want to open sun and moon all day long at the moment. I'm really, really feeling it. Um, got the Iono there in a 10, talking about Powdaya Evolved. Again, love that card from the set. There are some really nice cards in Powdaya Evolved. Just Scarlet and Violet here. It's just not, just not my thing at the moment. We've got a base two Charizard with that beautiful Cosmos Hollow as well. Okay, I said we go to page eight and we've gone to page 10. Let's just scroll this page. This card, the Marshadow and Machamp, I love. And I actually pulled from Unbroken Bonds for Chris the other day, which was insane because I'd never pulled that card before. So that was my favorite Unbroken Bonds pull. And there it is in a 10, currently at $110. Picked up a massive Chansey today. Pete my interest. CGC Pristine 10 Base Set Hollow Pop 2. Herbert, congratulations. I am not jealous <laughs> at all. No, congrats. That's insane. I've actually got a few chances in my... I've got more than five top picks today because I got carried away with the chances. So shall we go to the lower end of the price list? And let's see what's on page 246. There is so much up tonight. There is so much. So as you can see, we've got slabs down at this level. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of everything here. So brace yourselves. There'll be modern. There'll be vintage. There'll be Japanese. There'll be English. There'll be SGC, CGC, PSA. There'll be raw cards, which is what these are right here. So 
Just mic baker authentication. Work with PWCC to help authenticate raw cards that are sent in for sale. So basically, they're not grading it one through ten. They're certifying that it's authentic. So it comes in a top loader with a little label in the top like that. Um, and it just gives you peace of mind that you're buying an authentic card. And it gives PWCC peace of mind that they're also selling an authentic card as well. So as you can see, there'll be a lot of raw cards today. Pat, welcome in. It's a late night stream here and I, I needed the UD. I needed the UD. It's, it's very warm, almost too warm. I might have to put the aircon on. Welcome in. Hope you are doing well. Um, so as you can see, we're at the $5 mark at the moment. So like I said earlier, don't ever feel like you're going to be priced out of these auctions because everything is tens of thousands of dollars and it's completely unaffordable. It's not. There is something for everyone. And with nearly 6,000 items up tonight, I can promise you there's something for everyone in these streams. Even if you don't pick anything up, it's just really cool to look at. You might come across cards you've never seen before. It might pique your interest. It might give you a new collecting goal. Yeah, honestly, Pat, they're good for like 20 minutes. And then the internal heater gets a little bit like, whew, a little bit sweaty in here. Um, so as you can see, a lot of modern down at this um, point, but we've got, you know, trainer gallery Vs, we've got shinies, we've got VMAXs, we've got trainers, we've got Beckett slabs down at this point as well. I mean, like I say every week, it's hard to actually, even if you spent the whole week looking, you probably wouldn't be able to see everything. So I definitely recommend using the filters and the search bars to try and narrow down what you're looking for because you will get lost in these pages because there is so much available, so much available. We've got Evolutions right here. So we've got the Raw Mew right there. We've got the Reverse Haunter in a CGC9. Um, so these auctions are also good. Say you're putting a master set together and you're missing a few gaps. You could pick up a few singles. You could pick up, if you're not massively bothered about condition, you could pick up a few lower grade slabs and even crack them and put them in your binders as well. So lots of different options depending what you're looking for um, and what you're after basically. But like I said, I do feel like there's, there's always something for everyone in these auctions. So don't ever feel like it's only for the big spenders and the high end items. It's really, really not. There really is some something for everybody. Um, so as you can see there, I mean, oh, legendary treasures, what a set. I opened a legendary treasures box break a week ago, a week and a half ago. And it, I think it was one of the best legendary treasures boxes we've ever opened. We got so many hits, green Tino's hustle, make it ha happen. Don't know what I just said there. I think I just had a stroke. Welcome in from Louisiana. Where's everyone watching from tonight? Let me know in the live chat. Where are you guys watching from? I'm in the UK, just outside of London, as always. Not as always. Som sometimes I'm here, there, and everywhere. But tonight, I'm at home, just outside of London. We got Colorado in the chat as well. I know we've got um, green teas in Easy Carolina, my favorite place in the whole wide world. We got San Diego, California in the chat. I feel like there's always a lot more peeps from the US watching these because obviously it's a pretty late UK stream here. I'm here the same time every week. And the reason why it's so late for the UK is because I watch this stream and auction as it happens live. If we didn't watch it live, it's not quite as exciting. So Easy Carolina indeed. We've got LA, Trinidad and Tobago, Ruel. We've got New York. We've got Suffolk. We have got some late night UK gang in the chat. I appreciate you. It is 1.29 a.m. here in the UK. Normally it's actually an hour later, but our clocks haven't gone forward yet. So our clocks don't change till next weekend. So when we spring forward, I'll be starting at 2 a.m. UK time. Um, um, which is normally the time we just get this one month, this one month where we start an hour earlier. Okay. So as you can see, just lots and lots available. We still haven't got past the $5 mark yet. So lots of goodies up tonight. So I'm going to quickly go over my top picks with you. Not before I go back to page one, because I'm just really, really nosy. And I want to see where that Art Academy is. Currently at 9750 still. Okay. So I picked the Art Academy right here. Like I said, my friend Sam actually has um, this card, not in PSA, in CGC. I know he'll be watching this tonight. And this is a pretty cool card for a couple of reasons. It's an Art Academy. It's the Raincoat Pico in a PSA 10. Second of all, it's actually from the Dubsy collection. So you can see Dubsy's security seal on the back of the slabs. I love spotting Dubsy cards in the wild. I don't know why. It just gives me that little bit of, oh. Um, anyway. Um, massive shout out to Dubsy. Um, so yeah, this is actually from the Dubsy collection. Got the security seal on the back right there. So I'm going to keep that one open. Just would like to see where it go, uh, where it goes tonight. We 
don't see art academies very often there's quite a few things we don't see very often on these streams so when we do get the more fun high ticket kind of rarer items i like to just keep an eye on them and see where they go okay number two for me like i said i have got more than five top picks today because there were quite a few chances that i could not add into the top picks so they are there we have got the shiny pikachu right here um, so this is Japanese black and white era. We've also got the shiny Charizard, the Plasma Galezard, and the Blastoise up tonight, the Rayquaza. So there's quite a lot of black and white Japanese shinies up tonight. These are really big cards. As you can see, the Pikachu here in a PSA 10 currently at $1,025. And just a reminder, guys, that all the pricing you see does not include buyer's premium. So buyer's premium gets added as the auction ends. So once the item ends, the 20% buyer's premium gets added on top, but currently these prices are non-inclusive of buyer's premium. So just interesting for you guys to know if you're watching along and also if you're actually bidding as well, always remember the buyer's premium on top. Okay, going in number three, just love this card, the Rainbow Moonbrion right here from Collection Moon, Japanese. Um, in English, this would be Sun and Moon base in a PSA 10. Um, I've never really opened a lot of Japanese Sun and Moon era sets. I would like to. Like I said, I'm really enjoying Sun and Moon at the moment. I want to do more openings on the channel of Sun and Moon. Um, maybe we can dip into Sun and Moon Japanese as well. Chat, if you watch the streams, let me know. Always interested in your guys' feedback. Obviously do this for you guys. So I want to open what you guys want to open as well. In a PSA 10, currently sitting at $410. Danelle, welcome in. Thank you for joining. Hope you're doing well. So I picked this card today because this is my favorite alt art from Evolving Skies. It's not the Moonbrion, shock. Um, the Moonbrion is great, don't get me wrong. I love the card. I just feel like we're so overexposed to the Moonbrion. The Glaceon, I love. The Glaceon and Sylveon, I love Sylveon because it's my favorite e evolution. So I'm a bit biased on that one. But this is just such a nice card. We've got all the little Pikachu. You can spot your um, Pokemon in the background as well. There's so much going on with this card. I just love this card. Um, and here it is in a CGC9. It's not always about the grade. It's just about the card sometimes. Yeah, Sylveon is a real nice one. Noah, welcome in. How are we doing? I want to say happy Sunday to those watching in the US. Happy Monday to those watching UK, Europe and the rest of the world. <laughs> all the different time zones today. Okay, up next, we have got this Miji Chansey. Now, the scans never do some of these cards justice because, I mean, Chan you can't even see Chansey hardly on this card. But my lovely, lovely mod, Kerry, actually gave me a copy of this card in a nine. It sits in my personal collection. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was cool because I don't think I've... I Maybe we have seen Miji up on PWCC since we've been doing the streams, but not often enough that I remember it. So I thought I'd just keep this one open just to see where this goes. In person, this is super shimmery, glistening -y. I don't think that's a word. It glistens, it shimmers, it's bright, it's colorful. Here, it doesn't look great, but trust me, it's a really, really nice looking card. We have then got the Masterable Chansey from Japanese 151 in a PSA 10. Again, it's a Chansey, just pretty cool in a PSA 10. Vimy, do not get me started. Do not get, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I see you in the chat. I see you. Always, always trying to snipe those chances from me. And then we got the old maid deck chancy in a Beckett 10. So I have this in a PSA ch PSA 10. I think I've got it in a CGC 10. I've got it raw in my binder. I don't have a Beckett 10. I feel like I feel like I have to get it in a Beckett 10 now. We'll see where we go tonight. But there we go. There is the old maid deck chancy in a 10. Love these cards. The back of these cards are just super fun. You got all like they're so derpy. Like look at the Pika. Look at his little face and the ditto. I just love them. The Charmander and the Squirtle are very cute as well. So yeah, just love this card. It's cute. This is more of just a for me kind of thing. These are my top picks. If I had a co-host, I'd get their top picks today as well. But I'm co-hostless. Yeah, I'm co-hostless. I think that's correct tonight. So it's just me. Okay, guys, it's time. I mean... Can we just have a look at all the different... Sometimes they have these featured collection buttons. We got the SM Pratt tab. I don't know if the SM Pratt tab is going to work for today. I feel like it's for next week. It's for next week. We'll have a quick... We'll have a little look at that in a bit. Um, 
But I mean, there's a lot of tops Pokemon and all these other things that I don't know what they are. Right, we're going to go in to one of my favorite tabs right here, okay? Sit down, put your seatbelts on, brace yourself. Brace yourself. Um, this is from Udi, Greg. It's a company. It's not a onesie. It's just like a big, like, shirt. But they do a few different Pokemon ones. Um, and I've got the Pikachu one. And it's warm, but it's cozy. Okay, non-sports, you'll find anything and everything there. Honestly, Admiral, is it even happening at this point, is what I feel. Sorry for the silence there, I just had to rehydrate. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe they'll release them after EUIC, but then I feel like they're really cutting it fine. So we're talking April, June, July, August. May, June, July, August. That gives people, like, not a very long time. Like, Hawaii's a big, big like trip for a lot of people it's expensive takes a lot of planning giving people like a three month window on when it's gonna happen i just feel like that's rough it is rough that they didn't release it on pokemon day why are they why are they gatekeeping the dates come on share them share them with us please admiral i'll be sad we can't go cliff diving in hawaii right so we've got Fortnite right here i don't play Fortnite. All I know, I might embarrass myself here. The only thing I know about is Tilted Towers. Can someone confirm or deny if that is in Fortnite? I feel like it's in Fortnite. It's definitely not in COD. Let me know. But we've got the Black Knight Crystal sh Shard. It says Brazil on here. I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's at $460. Put one of 10. Honestly, you don't want to see me playing Fortnite. Cons oh, we have a conspiracy theory here. I'm a, I love a conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory is they double booked the convention center and it's now a mess. Honestly, that wouldn't even surprise me because it does seem a little bit weird. Hold on, the butler is calling me. He never calls me midstream. This might be important. Hello? Hello? I don't know if he knows he's called me. Hello? Hello there. Hello? Hello? Answer me. It's a pocket dial, people. It's a pocket dial. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know why they haven't released the Hawaii dates. It's all feeling very, like, suspicious. They're suspicious. Yeah, I don't know. Feels weird. Feels suspicious. Also, is a little bit stressful planning-wise because I just feel like so many people just aren't going to be able to get... But, like, bear in mind, it's, like, a vacation spot anyway and it's happening in August. So that's, like, when a lot of kids aren't at school and families are going away. So places are already busy and booked up around that time of year. Ac accidental, I thought so. Um, and then leaving it so late with then, like, a big, you know, convention going on, like, Worlds... I feel like it's going to make it even more impossible for people to get, like, book. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just feel sad that some people might miss out because it's so last minute. But, yeah. Um, I'm not going to be at the Excel um, Pokemon Center because I'm going to Houston Collecticon, which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, so, yeah, sacrificing EUIC this year for Collecticon, um, but needs must. So I'm looking forward to that just as much anyway. Um, my fiance wants to snap a pic with you. Of course, Zork, just come and find me. Just the little blonde woman running around with the camera. I'll be here, there and everywhere. Honestly, Admiral, if I did, you'd all know, but I really don't. Those connections don't exist. I wish they did. I wish the connections existed. It is a good job that Zetch isn't here tonight because I feel like this card keeps coming back again and again and again. The auto post Malone and he really wanted it last time. Vimmy and Chloe, is that like a nice one? Because I know you picked one up and it was like the nice auto and then there was one up and was it a couple of weeks ago where it like wasn't great? But I don't know what I'm looking at. So I don't know what is great and I don't know what isn't great. So I need a little bit of confirmation. Just host worlds at Costa across the street. Honestly, we've got a really good coffee shop called Costa across the street from the shop. We could definitely host worlds there. Might be a squeeze, but we can make it work. Um, it's got nothing on Chloe's, unfortunately. I thought I thought Chloe's got like the grey or posty. I don't know why that didn't get a grade. Yeah, someone's only done auto authentic. So there's all different options when you grade autographs, you know, grading the card and the auto, 
just authentic, just grading the auto, just grading the card. Yeah, all over the place. Who knows? Who knows? We've got Snoop Dogg auto as well. That's pretty cool. Something a little bit different. Where's the pop century at? That is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Let's have a little look. So this is all like the weird and wonderful. You never know what you might find on this tab. And that is why I love it. I feel like this is a ginormous auction block tonight because there is 16 pages on the non-sports. <gasps> Pop century. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's keep our eyes filled. I am a Pop century addict. I am proud of it. I am proud of it. I'm not going to lie. Oh, um, I have a soft spot for Marilyn. I love Marilyn Monroe. I had a Marilyn Monroe canvas on my wall um, for years, like as a teenager growing up. I, she's just an icon to me. And I remember I was in like the um, hardware store, like or like our DIY store. Um, and I really wanted the canvas. It was about 25 pound. And my mum was like, no you're not having it and I was like well why not and I was I wasn't a brat I was not a bratty child but I was like I need this canvas on my wall and um I think I remember almost nearly crying bear in mind I wasn't young I was like a teenager but I was like if I start crying maybe she'll feel guilty ended up getting it but I don't think I got it on that trip I think I had to then go back to the store and convince her again honestly these election tops cards make me die this picture of Bernie look at him icon with his mask and his mittens on at least he's warm um but yeah that was the story that no one asked for um but yeah so i love marilyn and i actually have a piece of marilyn monroe's dress chloe that card you sent me i have the same card in a beckett slab which i got from pwcc last year so it's only right i get the other half is it up this week or is it up next week the toy story cards are so cute we like Chloe's stories. I try and make them interesting. They're not always interesting for people. I do get it, but I do try. I do try. Okay, right, page eight. The Chloe stories make sense. See, I'm logical, that's why. I am logical. Right, I wanna see if that Marilyn card's on this tab. I don't know if it's this week or next week. I need Chloe to confirm nor deny. She's the one that sent it to me. Okay. Right, let's, we'll just keep scrolling in case there's any goodies hanging around. Page 10, there's so many, so many items. Okay, come on. None of this is piquing my interest. Absolutely none of it. But you might find a gem hidden within the dirt. Don't know if that's a saying, but I said it. Um, there are some weird and wonderful things dotted around in here. There is like a memorabilia tab as well. And we're going to look at that because I kept missing that last time. And I don't want to miss it this time, just in case. There is other TCGs. There's Magic the Gathering. There's Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, we can have a little look at those as well. Dragon Ball, One Piece. So it's not just Pokemon. It's not just sports. Literally everything you can possibly imagine you can find on this auction, right? We're just speed running this because I feel like this Marilyn card is not on this tab. Look at them, the elector, the tops now election. Who, like who's, in what boardroom did that get signed off? Whose idea was that? Who collects those? Who has got binders of election tops cards? I'd like to know. I'd like to meet those people. Okay, a lot of Fortnite down at the $5 mark right here. And then we're going to our last page. And boom, I am just going to search Marilyn real quick. Marilyn, where are you? If I go next week as well, is she up next week? There she is. There she is. This is the card that I own in a Beckett slab. And I'm absolutely going to be picking it up in a PSA slab as well. What is it? Near Mint to Mint 8. It's a bit of her dress. It's mad. Mad. Okay, that's next week. That's this week. We'll keep an eye on that. Right, let's go back to this week. Let's clear the filter. And let's go to... I like to go to... Let's go to memorabilia. Okay, let's go to memorabilia. See what we've got going on here. See, this is where it gets like... Oh, my friend Zach would love this. I feel like he's totally not going to be awake, but I'm going to take a picture of this for him. 
which I don't know what good that's going to do him because he's not awake, but I'm going to keep that open because I am indeed a Swifty. Like, there's such cool stuff here. Jerseys, helmets, boots, actual footballs as well. Snoop, a Snoop Dogg CD signed by Snoop Dogg. Mike Tyson's boxing gloves. Oh, honestly, I love this website. I, you never, you just never know what you might find. And sometimes it is absolutely wild. Sorry, I bet on a baseball. I like it. I mean, like bat, like everything. Basketball, sign basket. I hate that. Honestly, Vimmy, I, I just love it. This website is the one. It really, really is. I need to take the non-sports category off there because it's um, picking up everything else. I absolutely love this website. Because you never, ever know. You never, ever know what you might find. I mean... Really? Something a little bit different. Okay, right. We've done memorabilia. Let's go to... So the filter is really easy to use. Everything's on the left-hand side. And you can just scroll through. Let's go to combat sports. Because I like WWE. So I just like to see if there's, you know, something spicy up every now and then. Roman Reigns got one or two. $950. I don't ever spend that big on WWE. I like to buy booster boxes. <gasps> Oh, hello. I've pulled one Jewel Auto before from WWE, and I'm very proud of it. It sits in my personal collection. There's 6,500 results of Pokemon next week as well. Damn. James, how are we doing? Sorry if I've missed you in the chat at all. I've just been waffling away. Um, I was waffling away to myself at the start when no one was here with me, you know. Just warming up, warming up the vocal cords. That's quite the pose, that one. Okay, let's have a little look at our collectible card game. So this is going to include things like One Piece, things like Dragon Ball. And I, as you can see already, there's some big cards, some big black labels. Now, I don't collect One Piece. My TCG store does sell One Piece and Dragon Ball and Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering. We're all encompassing, not just Pokemon. I myself personally don't collect One Piece, but I have seen the um, the following and the hype and the players. You know, I actually went to a convention in November last year here in the UK and my store was vending, but it was actually a One Piece tournament and I was just surprised how many people were actually playing. It was insane. Um, so if anyone in the chat knows what we're looking at here, but we're just going to have a little scroll through just so you can see what is going on so it's weird about this time last year all of these top items here would have been dragon ball black labels now we've shifted to one piece um oh james appreciate you no worries um whereas not really seeing any dragon ball and seeing a, just a lot of one piece we're heavy every time i watch pwcc with chloe it makes me want to honestly tess it is it's quite the website um, okay, we have got Dragon Ball here now, dipping into some Dragon Ball. There's some Weiss as well mixed in here. Um, sometimes this is where you'll see like the, um, like we've seen the Disney 100, the uh, Toy Story collabs with Weiss as well. Not Toy Story, the Pixar collabs, which does have Toy Story cards in it. Um, but as you can see, there's, there's something for every single collector on this site it is it's just the gift that keeps on giving i feel like this week green tea i don't know if it's just me i feel like this is a really really hefty auction block this week even the collectible card games tab has 37 pages like that is a lot sometimes it's like two or three pages so i don't know what's going on but just everything is up this week left right and center in every category as well we've got raw cards as well um not just slabs, some Beckett, some CGC, some PSA. Yeah, I feel like that as well. I feel like this week is like heavy. Right, okay. So that is the collectible card games. So this week in total, totaling every category, including Pokemon, including sports, there's over 13,600 items. That is a whopper of a auction block right there. 
top three items right here. We've got a Jackie Robinson rookie in an SGC4. We've got the Raincoat Pika that's now gone up to 10,500. And we have got a Topps Star Wars Series 1 Wax Booster Box at 9,750. Justin, are we picking anything up tonight, guys? Do let us know in the chat if you're picking anything up or if you're selling with PWCC this week. I know sometimes you guys are selling your collection through them. Sometimes you're adding to your collection through them. Do let us know. Um, so, yeah, some I mean, sports is always big. It's a whole world I know nothing about. But as you can see, it normally dominates the first like few pages price-wise. There's Pokemon dotted in there as well. But I feel like this week is like fairly sports heavy um and i mean there's everything there's basketball there's baseball there's nfl there's english what we would call football um there's f1 there's golf there's tennis i mean literally the list goes on it's it's insane so what we are going to do very quickly before we go back to this week's auction we're going to look to next week now you can look to next week only thing to bear in mind is what we look at right here right now might change by the time we get to next week because people can flash insert items. So let me just narrow this down to Pokemon. So things get added throughout the week, basically. Hydration is key, people. I have lemon in my water today to keep me going. Okay, so we have got another base set shadowless, our oh, first edition, all of the... First edition non hollows next week. Red and yellow cheeks Pikachu and rainbow error Dragonair. I feel like this is one person that sent these in because we've got the shadowless this week and then we've got first edition next week. That's pretty cool. So that's coming up next week. We have also got oh, the 20th anniversary Festa Pika. This is a huge card. I love this card. Already at $5,250. We've got first edition Zard in a six. We got a Fossil Booster Box. We have got no Rarity Zard in a Beckett 9. Japanese Gold Star Rayquaza. We got the ja we got the Eevee Heroes Moonbrion up next week. Okay, that's interesting. Been in a little while, I feel, since we've seen one of those. Have you ever seen any... Sorry, have you ever seen any Pop Series graded packs on here? Definitely not recently, but I think we did see that lot of just loose pop series packs at one point i don't know if green tea you might remember green tea i always ask you because i feel like me and you on the wavelength where we remember the same things um, but i don't know if i've seen any graded off the top of my head but that being said we don't always get around to looking at every single item because there's so many items so we can miss things at times first edition shining charizard from neo destiny in a psa 10 shadowless blastoise in a 10 yeah the loose packs i feel like that was a thing but i don't remember seeing graded either we got some six we got a gold star pikachu from holland phantoms in a 10 we got the mimikyu munch in a 10 that card is my nemesis um we have got the crystal guardian zard in a 10 more first edition uh charizards in beckett there uh, we got a CGC Gyarados in a 10. First Ed, we've got the um, Munch Pika as well. Espeon Gold Star. Oh, love this card. Talking about Sun and Moon era. Team Up, Alternate Art, Gengar and Mimikyu Tag Team GX. Huge card right there. Whew. Do we remember last year where we had that Sun Faded Mew that went for like crazy, crazy money? Well, here we look like we've got a sun faded Zard. Why is the picture not loading? Because it was literally just loading for me a second ago. Look at that. That just looks like it sat on someone's windowsill for like a long time and then just faded. I need the Vaporeon Gold Star. He said to no one, just wanted to put that out there. Green tea, what grade is it? So that's next week. That's something a little bit different. Connor, how are we doing? Welcome in. We've also got the English Moonbrion in a nine right there. Sun Bleach Special right there. Sun Bleached Special. Oh, Boundaries Crossard in a 10. Lots of Charizards up next week. A lot of Charizards. Another no rarity in a PSA 8. Some graded booster packs. First Ed Rocket. We've got Neo Destiny as well. Okay, again, next. A sideways Roaring Skies box. Something a bit different. Again, next week, some very, very big cards up. CP6, Venusaur, CP6, what a set. Absolutely love it. Um, oh, it's a Japanese 10. 
There's an English nine here as well, green tea. Vivid voltage, seal case. We sometimes see this um, every week. We um, see booster box cases, mainly modern. Um, Sword and Shield era, Scarlet Violet era. I don't know if we've seen any Sun and Moon era. We've got another Sideways. We've got a lot of Sideways booster boxes. So this is one of those lots I said about where we've seen like booster boxes in lots together. So Shiny Star V in a lot of five right there. Crow Crow Mew in a 10. Don't tell Alfie. Sean, honestly, they're living their best life. Bless them. They are living their best life. Love this Tyranitar right here. Another Sideways box. We've got the team up. Why are they all sideways? Don't know what's going on there. Eevee Heroes box. I would love... Right. I need to know. I feel like it's a little bit unobtainable because it's expensive. But would you guys get involved if we did an Eevee Heroes opening on the channel where we just open loads of Eevee Heroes? I don't know where I'm getting loads of Eevee Heroes boxes from, but how do we feel? How do we feel? Yeah, they forgot to hit rotate. Um... Hold on, I can't see my other screen because my mic. How do we feel? Green tea saying possibly. That is enough for me. That is enough for me. I'm going to be honest with you. Hold on, guys. I just need to adjust. I have done two 5K runs this week. And I'm not a runner. I've never really run before. But I've decided I want to incorporate running into my life. And started with a 5K. Did another 5K today. Slow. But did it. And I ache like you would not believe. Why does that Zard look like it's a funny colour? Do we think it's just the scan? I think it's just the scan. It's just made it look really, really bright. But yeah, my legs hurt. My stomach hurts. My hips hurt. My back hurts. I am only 30, not 60. But yeah, it's, it's a lot for my little body to just be hit with all at once. But Another Sideways Ancient Origins box. Maybe this is a new thing, Sideways Photos. Um, oh, another beautiful card right there. The Latias Latios Tag Team Rainbow from Team Up. Lots of Team Up. Oh, there we go. We have an upright box right there. Burning Shadows. Another Sideways Poncho box. But yeah, if anyone who runs out there for fun, honestly, I'm trying. I am trying. Oh, Unif Unified Minds is another set. I'd love to do a case break on Unified Minds. I have all these wonderful ideas. Whether any of them will come to fruition, I do not know. Evolutions booster box. I only had $42 for next week. Cry, cry me. So don't forget, guys. This is all next week that we're looking at. I have that card in my collection. I do not need another one. Keep scrolling. I'll go to page six and then we'll go back to the current week. So just giving you guys a sneak peek. Over 6,500 items already for next week. That is insane. Anyone who's going to be coming to Collector's Card House, we have some of these in stock. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, right. Shall we go back to this week? I feel like we should. I feel like we should. Right. Auction 114. Green Tea has got his eyes peeled next week. Right, let's see if any of my top picks have bumped up. So, the Dovesy Collection Art Academy has gone up to 10.5. Shiny Peak is still where it is. Umbreon's still where it is. These are just my top picks, guys. Uh, Glaceon. What's the last poke Vimy, is that you? Uh, what's the last Pokemon stand in this week, guys? What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Do you know what? I'm absolutely going to whack a bit on this. It's a gem mint 10 as well. Love me a Marilyn. Love me a Marilyn. That's bumped up. That I'm not going to buy, but I just love. So I'm just going to look at that and pretend that I'm going to buy it. Green tea, say in Pika. Now, see, last week... So I'm going to break it down for you. Some weeks, the high-end items manage to last all the way through until the very end. Sometimes they drop off really quickly. Last week, one of the biggest items went all the way through to the very, very end. Past, like, the um, 8 p.m. Pacific mark, which was crazy. So for those of you who don't know how it works here... Um, extended bidding is literally about to start in three, two, one, boom. We are in the extended bidding period. So extended, why does that say 35 minutes? That should be 30 minutes, no? Anyone? Me? Okay, the current window... 
wait, what is going on? That should say 30 minutes, no? That's, it's confusing. <laughs> it is confusing me. Matty, welcome in, how are we doing? Um, okay, so normally the first bidding window is seven till 7.30 Pacific time. And then after that, so the first window is half an hour, 30 minutes. After that, it goes down to five minute windows, 7.30 all the way through to 8 p.m. Pacific. It's in five minute blocks. So 7.30 till 7.35, 7.35 till 7.40, etc. And then at eight, it goes down to one minute window. So it gets really, really quick towards the end and things start dropping off. I'm gonna refresh. I'm just gonna do a quick refresh. So green tea, I've refreshed. And now mine's gone to the correct time and yours has gone the other way. Don't know what's happening there. That's an interesting one. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you have just joined, welcome in first of all, appreciate you all for watching. Do hit that like button on your way and if you haven't already, this is very different from my normal content. Um, the PWCC streams are very chill. Uh, we're not opening packs, obviously. We're just sitting here looking at the auctions as the end, looking at you know where the market is on items and things like that. This is the sort of stuff I do not on camera. So I wanted to incorporate it on the channel in one way, shape or form. And the PWCC streams fit perfectly. Keeps jumping back up. Mine's just done that as well. Oh no, we're, we're having a glitch here, people. We are. Ha Sometimes this happens. Sometimes this happens. It's okay. So that's just gone from 28 minutes to 32. Hmm, should not be doing that. I wonder if PWCC, sometimes they put something out to say that they know that there's like a little um a little glitch going on. Let's just see if they've put anything out to say they're aware of it. Otherwise, I will drop them a message just to let them know. Because like, I don't know what it then does when it gets to like when the bidding period ends, like if it messes it up at all. But these things happen. Let's have a little look on their Twitter. And let me know if it's... Ha Green tea, it's happening for you. So I feel like it's happening for everyone else. Right, replies. No, I can't see anything. Although the ha the window has just started. So maybe they're just only noticing it like right now. Let me just double check one more place. Just in case we've missed something. Woody, thunder from down under. How are we doing? Welcome in. Mr. Pokemon, welcome in. How are we doing? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, green tea, what's yours doing? Is it still doing a bit of a, a glitch? Does it keep just jumping back up? Because that should now be 31. Is it like is it the same as where mine is on the screen? I assume it is. Let me see what happens when it gets to 31 if it then Okay, let's just see where this goes. If not, we'll just keep having a little scroll. Frank is snoring. Like a little piggy next to me. Right, I'm gonna do a refresh and see if that corrects it. So it corrects it there, but I wonder if when we get to the next minute, it's going to jump back up as well. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, right. So this text at the bottom here where it's red, that will go green when an item's had a bid. So as you can see right here on the um, victory ring, ring um, it says item extended to next window. So that'll go into the 7.30 till 7.35 window. It will have to then get another bid to move into the next window and so on. Anything that's red hasn't had a bid and will end at 7.30 like that with buyer's premium added on top. Green tea, when this has happened before, I can't remember what's happened. Because this has happened before when we've been doing these streams where the, the clock's been like out of sync and like having a bit of a weird glitch. But I can't remember what's ended up happening. Can you? Because it's been a little while since we've seen this uh, take place. Just going to do another refresh right here. Let's check on these. Because I wonder what it's saying here. Yeah, see these are doing it as well. 
Yeah, sometimes they rerun the auction the next night if it's like a technical glitch that they can't like stay like they can't sort of you know fix immediately. The um. The pokey card creator Pika has had a bid right there. Pop one and nine in a ten. I don't know how I missed that earlier. Sometimes skipping through. Yeah, it's like all on twenty nine, so it should be on like twenty four. Okay, let's just keep an eye. Let's just keep an eye. I want to win my Marilyn. I'll keep an eye on my phone just in case they put anything out as well. Um, okay, Raincoat Peak is still there. So that's the shiny Zard. We're actually going to look at this. So this is another one. The scan doesn't do it justice. In person, this card glitters like the actual Charizard glistens like Edward Cullen does when he's in the sunlight. If anyone watched Twilight, you'll know what I'm talking about. It lights up. It lights up. It's beautiful. Um, Claire and Miller, what they do is with Watsy boxes in particular, if they're selling a Watsy box on auction, um, they open it up, they take all the packs out, they film the whole thing and then they tamper seal it back up and it's basically a little video that sits on the listing. I'll actually show you. Oh, these have just had a bid. We've had the raincoat peaker go up to 11. Let me show you because I think there's a fossil box up next week. So what they do is there is this little video so this has talking over it obviously i've got it muted while we do these because otherwise there'll just be voices everywhere and it'll just be too much so they talk you through what the box looks like here and what they'll do is they'll open it up they pull every single pack out show all the packs to the camera make sure everything looks okay and then it gets tamper sealed back up so at the end it will end up looking like this with these silver tamper seals on them it gives pwcc peace of mind that they have checked that the item's authentic before they actually sell it and it gives the buyer peace of mind that what they're buying is authentic we haven't seen this affect pricing with watsy boxes um when they've been tamper sealed a lot of the time people are buying these and you know doing youtube videos and ripping them open and all that sort of stuff so we haven't really it seen it affect anything in like price wise um it was a discussion we had at the start of these streams when we started doing them but yeah we we haven't seen the price change because of that um so yeah that's what all watsy um box listings look like um and it will have that little video and it runs and you can listen to it and it has the little voice talking over. So yeah, just in case you're thinking of picking one up or you just want to know what the process is, that's what they do for all Watsy boxes. Okay, right. Timer is looking correct for a hot second. Green tea, what's yours saying? No, it's just jumped back up again. I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon there. So 11,000 currently on the Art Academy we have got the Alakazam just jumped up to 4,600. 26, yeah, mine's done the same as well. Interesting. We'll, we'll see if they sort of rectify it within the next few minutes. He's just woken himself up from snoring so much. <laughs> um, let's go to page two and see what we are saying. Ah, is this... Is this that beautiful Vaporeon that you love? Oh, so let's have a look at it. Let's have a little look. It is pretty. It is very pretty, green tea. I won't torment you. I won't torment you. Jolteon as well. Um, this shiny Rayquaza is another one. I feel like the scan doesn't do it justice, but if you saw this in person, that Rayquaza would be glittering like a disco ball. A little bit of, it, like... You can almost see the tiny dots on the Rayquaza. That's like the glittery hollow effect on it. But like on the scan, it just doesn't pick it up. But I love me a shiny Rayquaza. Love me a shiny Rayquaza. These black and white shinies, like I said, are very, very big. They're fairly expensive, as you can see. Oh, I've had a little bid right there. Let's just make sure little Marilyn is ticking along nicely. Um... Okay, so the Black Label Zards now at 1200. So that's the Japanese celebrations, the 25th anniversary right there. There are so many. Go there are two PSA 10 Gold Star Mewtwo's tonight. Japanese. Two. Um, 
let's go to page three and see where we are and guys if you have been enjoying the video as always do hit that like button um and if you do watch this not live as well leave a comment down below let us know what your favorite items were i know for some of you especially in the uk it's a late one so i know you guys watch it back the next day um so always let me know down below um what you're thinking of the auction um and what your favorite items are i don't think i picked last pokemon standing i'm gonna go gyarados gyarados just going random right, let's see if the time has fixed itself yet No, that just went from 19 minutes to 24. Let me just double check and see if they've put anything out. Bear with me. Mm, nope. Not there. No. Okay. Nothing at the moment. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Because I don't know what's going to happen when it gets to like... Oh, I've gone to 11,500 now. Still no movement on that. But I'm just going to keep these ones open because I'm just intrigued to see where they go. Vimy, are we going for the Miji Chansey? Are we going for it? This is a cute one. I don't think I have this in a Beckett slab. I don't think I do. Such a cool auto. Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. Okay, right, let's have a little scroll. So, last week, Black Label Poncho Pika's insane pricing, like, off the scale. Don't know what happened. Absolutely wild. But is that's why these auctions are always fun, because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's coming next. You never know where prices are going to go on a lot of items as well. Um, I wonder if they've got any video games. Let's have a little look. Oh. Desired TCG, appreciate you. Thank you so much for jumping in. Don't know if they've got any graded Pokemon games today. So yeah, as I said, it's not just cards. It's not just Pokemon. It, it really is a little bit of everything. All right, let's get this back to Pokemon, shall we? And the website is super easy to use. Actually, I will quickly show you that before we do anything. So when you land on PWCC website, this is their homepage. Um, and there's quite a lot going on. It tells you a little bit of everything. Desire, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so as you can see, you've got all your filters, you've got your weekly, your premier, your fixed price, sports cards, trading cards, more. And when you scroll down, it kind of shows you what's going on. So it shows that this is happening now, your weeklies next week. Um, and then it has all your other coming soons. It tells you about the monthly premier auctions. The monthly premier actually just took place last Thursday. We don't stream that one just because it clashes with some of my other streams, like my schedule. So that's why we do the weekly on a Sunday. But if and when I can, I definitely will stream a few of the um, premieres. The premieres are huge. They are like some of the biggest ticket items that we'll see. Items that we won't see on the weekly because they're too big. Um, so last week, for example, a PSA 10 Kangas car and it sold for, I think it was $216,000, which is a new record in a 10. Um, so that was pretty hefty. Um, so yeah, the... I mean, the, the premieres are wild. We've seen the Expedition Booster Boxes, First Edition Zards in tens, like big, big, big items. There's sports as well. So it tells you a little bit about that. It tells you about your weekly and it shows you some items that are currently running there. It then shows you about the fixed marketplace. There is also a fixed marketplace on the website where you can go and browse. There's thousands, so over 50,000 items currently. Um, so lots available there if you're looking just to have a little browse, see what's going on. So 26 years of service, over 759,347 items currently in the vault right now, the PWCC vault, and over 2,472,673 items have been sold. 
that's a big number right there. And then it tells you about the vault as well, giving you a little bit of detail. You can click learn more and you can look into that as well. So to get to the weekly, you literally click on your weekly button right here. And then this is where you can filter down. So we'll make, always make sure you're choosing the right um, week. As you can see here on the left-hand side, we got this week, which is week 114. And then next week, which is 115. Click this week if you're interested in seeing what's happening this week. And then I'll just use the search bar at the top to type Pokemon. And or you can use the filters on the side. That's the function that I always use. So I just get used to doing it. Um, and it will filter it down, as you can see right there, to um, all of the Pokemon items. Okay, so the Art Academy's had another bid right there to 12,000. The... Um, Pika here has had another bid, taking it to 6750. So these items are moving into the next bidding window currently. As you can see, they've gone green and it says item has been extended to the next window. Anything in red, a bid is needed to extend the item. If that item, for example, this lot of slabs here doesn't get a bid, it will end in 15 minutes or just under and buyer's premium will be added on top and then we'll see that final price. So 20% buyer's premium on top right there. Um, quite a few of these have had bids now. Plasma girls are still no. There was a point where this was going for like pretty crazy price, and about a year ago, it doesn't very rarely it comes up in a ten, but it's a great card. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, excuse me. Um, shadowless Venusaur, pretty cool. I think there's a shadowless Blastoise up next week in a ten as well. Do you know what funny story about this jumbo? I once had one of these and. I bought it from someone. I didn't get it out of a box myself. Um, and I was like, oh, it's so clean. It looks perfect. I'm going to send it to PSA. Came back a five. Um, apparently, I missed a crease and a dent on it. So, yeah, that was a painful one. But still love the card, regardless if it's a five or not. Still love it. But like I said, I've actually got one signed by Arita, which is pretty cool, um, that is in my personal collection. So, I will cherish that. Right, let's have a little scroll. Green tea, is your timer still doing the same thing? Let me know. I am just going to double check again just to see if there's any comments about this timer. Just because I remember last time sometimes when this has happened, it's, I don't know if they've like moved the, I don't know. Yeah. Let me just have another look on their Twitter just in case. Let me have a little search. Mm -mm -mm. No, I can't see anything. There's another guy that watches the like hockey um cards live as well. And I can't see that he has said anything. He is just watching along from what I can tell, so yeah, it's basically combining the next two windows. Yeah. Okay, let me just double check Insta just in case. Oh, it looks like it's fixed itself on your end, Frank. Okay, maybe I'll do a refresh. Get the old refresh button out and see. So it should be on like 11 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes, yeah, just under. No, just done it again. Okay, right, anyway, let's have a little look. Gone up to 12,500 now on the Art Academy. Still no movement on the shiny peak up. Again, this is another one <coughs> in person. Glitters like a disco ball, so pretty. I was confused why my mouse wasn't moving, but it was yours. Chloe, it's late, don't worry, don't worry. I'm honestly, my brain is in that same space today. This has gone up 430. <laughs> We have got the Glaceon still at 105. Just, oh, should we have a little zoom in on the artwork of this? I just, I feel like I've, we just didn't realize how lucky we were with Sword and Shield All Arts. We got our Feebas in the background there. We got our Eevee, Pikachu. We just, oh, I just feel like. I feel like we didn't realize how lucky we were. And that is 
a beaut that card right there it is beautiful yeah do you know what it's always hindsight you always don't appreciate what you have at the time and you look back and yeah i know the marrow and azuma reel going in for a little cuddle um you look back and you don't actually appreciate what you had at the time and i feel like we're not gonna really do that with scarlet and violet whereas sword and shield are all doing it now um yeah, I just, I love Evolving Skies. Such a fun set to open. Never get bored of it. Brilliant Stars I love as well. That's another one that I think is such a great set. Um, yeah, it's it's just one of those. It's one of those things. But we can still go back. We can still enjoy it. Like I said, people definitely are. And we're seeing the prices going up. Especially with Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain at the moment. Green Tea, do you have a... Were you putting together the Chilling Master set at any point? Or have I just made that up in my head for some reason? I feel like that that was a thing at some point. But maybe I am just imagining that in my brain. Because Chilling gets such a bad name and Fusion Strike. But they have some of the best all arts from the entire Sword and Shield era. The entire era. Mastered Evolving. I nearly Mastered Evolving and I gave up probably shouldn't have but i gave up I'm trying to get all the chilling alts yeah i would love just one big alt art binder with every single alt art the uh the acad the art academy's just had another bid taking it to thirteen thousand. maddie appreciate you hope you're doing well guys if you haven't already do hit that like button on your way in or if you are watching after the fact of us being live hit that like button leave us a comment down below let us know what you enjoyed about this week um <clears throat> Okay, so nine minutes left. I know it says 13, so I don't know what it's going to do. Do we count Crown Zenith as alts? Um, oh, good old Galarian Gallery. I, um, I suppose we do. They're that style art, aren't they? Ish. No? Am I just trying to, like, coax it? I suppose they're not, are they, really? It'd be like the Trainer Gallery VMAXs. Even though they're all art style, they're not technically the all arts because you've got the other all arts in the set. So it's like, you know, like the Umbreon and the Sylveon from Brilliant Stars. They're not technically all arts. They're, they're Trainer Galleries, but they kind of look like all arts as well. But there's no alt for them to be... There's no other art for them to be alting. Oh, my goodness. That's a... That's a 2 a.m. conversation right there going on in my head, just speaking to myself. Right, okay. So another bid taking it to $13,000 right there. See if there is any other movement. Oh, my top picks are not popping tonight, but that's okay. We don't mind that. There is seven minutes to go. We're going to just do our little refresh right here, and that should say six. I'm always just a couple of seconds ahead. Okay, so the Pika has now overtaken the um, Shadowless base set non-hollows. All in tens as well. Actually, yeah, that's what I wanted to look at. I wanted to open this up and take a little look up close. So you can open up everything. You can zoom in. We've got our two Pikas down here. Our red and yellow cheeks, as you can see. The color variation, the different color cheeks, the sort of like just different general coloring of the card as well. So that's pretty cool. So that's all the non-hollows. Shadowless in 10 right there. Cool, my legs are seizing up. Has anyone got any good tips for recovery after doing like running? Because honestly, I've been aching for days and then I did another run today. Oh, quite a few of these have had biz. The Plasma Galzard has gone up to 3,600. The Mega Charizard X Poncho has gone up to 4,200. Stretch and stretch more. Stop. <laughs> Hydrate. Yeah, okay. I definitely, I did stretch quite a bit before I started today. So I definitely just need to keep stretching every day, I think. Hydrating, I've got that locked in. I love drinking water. So we're all good on that front. We are all good. Right, so that should be five and a bit minutes now, I think, to go. Let's have, let's maybe go on to page two and see where we are. There's So there's a first edition Shining Zard English Neo Destiny in a 10-up next week. But this week, there's a Japanese um, 
Zard in a nine. Shining Zard. There's a lot of shi There's just a lot of everything. Shinings, Masakis, Gold Stars, Ponchos. I mean, the list is literally endless. I still can't believe how many items are up this week and next week as well. It's huge. Chris, welcome in. How are we doing? Happy Sunday or happy Monday, depending where, depending where you are in the world. I'm losing the plot. Cherry juice. Yeah, so would cranberry juice count, Vimy? Because I... I really like, I'm on a bit of a cranberry juice hype at the moment and I've been drinking quite a lot of it. And I feel like that counts as cherry juice-ish, does it? It's a berry. I don't know. Can someone confirm or deny? Eric, welcome in. I've heard, very, yeah, that's what I thought. They were all like, they fell into like the same thing. But yeah, I like cranberry juice. I love cranberry juice. I always remember my dad used to drink it a lot when I was younger and I was like, oh, it's got such a sharp taste. But as you get older and your taste buds change, I, I now get why, I now get what he was about with that. I'm like, yeah. Oh, Chloe. Okay, did not know that, but I'm here for it. I am here for it. Anything that's good for the body. Honestly, the older I've got, the more like, I don't know why it's taken me so long to become more health conscious, but I'm starting to like really try to be more conscious about what I eat, how, you know, exercising and, just generally, you know, looking after myself. I don't want to be, like, old and decrepit too early, you know? I'm only 30. I'm wishing my life away here. I would say just make sure you keep moving, walking. Yeah, I like um, I like going on a walk every day. I do with Frank anyway. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, I, uh, I'm pretty active. I'm pretty active in that aspect. Right. So this should be, like, three and a bit minutes now to go. Yes. And I think that's just had another bid. Was it 7500 and now it's gone 7750? I can't remember. How much is Charizard V going? Eric, what Charizard V? Yeah, Pogo is active, green tea. I need another community day to get me out and about. Have you seen it's bag on next community day? Green shinies. I cannot wait. I got, I've got to show you guys. I got a shiny Groudon on my last raid. I have other shiny Groudons from last year. But, and it's actually pretty good, Ivy. Let me load it up. Oh, green tea. I'm looking forward to this community day. Litten was a bit... Mm, I wasn't that fussed about that one. I've still got my Chansey community day video that I need to put out. But the footage is like... The file was corrupt when we tried to like put it together, which was annoying. Right, where is it? If I go full face for this one... Hold on, that's really bright. There it is. My little mustard Groudon. That's probably like one of my better shinies as well, so I'll take it. I will take it. Yeah, it's a, it's a banging shiny green tea. It is a banging shiny. Right, okay. We are now, should be down to, this is where it's going to get interesting to see what happens with the timer okay so it's 125 is what it should be but it's currently jumping up to Haruel honestly your shiny luck I feel like everyone's shiny luck was better with Groudon over um the Kyogre but I did get one shiny Kyogre last week and I was happy like that's all I needed but I feel like the I don't know maybe it's just me Maybe it's just me. But I feel like the shiny Groudon rate was definitely a bit better. Right, I'm just going to keep refreshing this because I've got no idea what's going to do, what's going to happen. Oh, my goodness. Who's joined me? Oh, oh my goodness. Have you just finished your shift? I have. We have a bit of a timer issue Hello. going on here. What's one? There's a minute left and it says this. Right, so this is going to be interesting. Raid! to see what happens here i was trying to see if they put anything out it's the boy the one and only there he is <laughs> i just run up the stairs frank <laughs> i need a hug please how's it going well this is what we're about to find out the extended, extended bid bidding? yeah it should be ending right now but the timer is out it's yeah. having a technical glitch so i don't know what's going to happen 
Oh, the art academy's on. Yeah, 13,000 currently. Wait, can they hear me or not? Uh, they sh right. So, oh, so it just corrected itself, did it? Did any of those sell? Yes. Okay, it did. It did. Oh yeah, they can hear you. Um. Okay, it did correct itself. Okay, we weren't sure what was going to happen there. Do you want to pull up a pew, or are you just a what? <laughs> a pew. It's like a chair, like a. Uh, or are you? Are you I just realised I need to chill out. I was about to say something. <laughs> I'm on that two a.m. You, you, yeah, he's on a different. He's in the wrong stream tonight. He is in the wrong stream. That um, art can, is that um oh wait is that the one with like that go back a second sorry is that the one with like the textured like is it like shining kind of texture yeah that's a shiny pika yeah the black that and white shinies sick. they had the plasma girl zard blastoise and rayquaza up all the sh black and white japanese that's shinies cool. the scans never do them justice yeah. though they look dark but that's um the art academy that sam has the one that sam has and this is from the dubsy collection because it's got the dubsy security seal on it isn't that the one that he sold which is pretty cool yes it is yes sick card very sick card sick right card. there so, oh yeah, there's Ponchos. the Zard poncho. Oh, my dream Zard. Yeah, it's a banger. Um, um there's there's over there's nearly six thousand items up tonight. That's crazy. It is a hefty. Oh, I've missed it all. Hefty. You've missed a lot. You've missed the lot. Right. Let's see if any of these ended. That's had another bid on it now. Mm. That's there. Oh yeah, my Glaceon failed. <laughs> What's that? Chansey? <laughs> yeah, I actually have that card. That exact card in my Is it metal? case. No. Oh, it looks it. It's like a really thick. Oh, so the Master Ball sold for 33.60. That seems so cheap. That's it. Yeah, someone said earlier as well. The time, Yeah, the timer worked itself out, Chloe. It just corrected itself. Yay, I'm still the highest bidder. Yeah. Love my Marilyn. And the, oh, I need to t take a picture of this for Zach. The Taylor Swift, my friend is a huge I Swiftie. Think Green Tea said there was a postie. postie oh, yeah, there was. We were literally talking about you earlier. Um, Did Chloe take it again? No, she said it's got nothing on hers. Oh, oh it's not good enough. This one isn't graded. It's just authenticated or as well. Let's do a quick search for you. There it is. <laughs> oh oh wait that was the same as the last one is that it? yeah i think that's the one <laughs> chloe said i didn't say that <laughs> no chloe don't worry it's not as nice it's not as nice it's just got the authentic auto whereas chloe's one is graded authentic the the chloe's the auto graded and the card graded on yours so you've got both the both the numbers Oh, Vimmy is winning today. Wait, what's Vimmy winning? Picking up a load of Yukimoris for five dollars. Oh, sweet. Wait, graded or ungraded? Uh oh, graded. He said trash grade. Love oh, it. We love a trash grade. The Art Academy just had another bid, thirteen and a half thousand. How's the stream though? Good? How's yeah. the voice? Lit. <laughs> I feel like I've never mind. <laughs> 2 a.m. club though you made it we did for the first time in like quite a yeah few days yeah very very good one crack them open i like it i like yeah mint nine auto 10 yeah i feel like that's just much better mint nine auto 10 that's just the where's butler clean me up while i'm up here i said i'd go help him after but i wanted to get involved <laughs> that. yeah that that's a wild one that is that is a wild one uh, oh, extended uh, bidding on the um, Art Academy. 13 and a half now. Tidying, Tidying up, up his now. mess. He's still watching. Um, Plasma Girl Zard's gone to 3,800. Oh, a lot of these are getting bids. A lot of these are getting bids. Jumbo's gone up to 1725 oh, in a so nine. Sick. Wait, I thought that would be more. So we're in a 10 once. I think it sold for like $15,000 on a PWCC auction last year like middle of last that's year mad. but yeah nine there there's the shiny rayquaza as well oh that's cool i think i almost bought one of those they honestly they are so nice but they the are so nice like, can you get it in english yes i think that's the one i almost got it's not as nice in english hmm. i just feel like what is that then to be honest what's what that yeah sasha banks and becky lynch dual auto hmm. <laughs> They have Instagram. <laughs> they do. Oh, 
Does he follow me? <laughs> Check him out. <laughs> Check him out. Are you not buying that? Uh, no, because it's above my budget, unfortunately. Yeah. Right, we're updating. <laughs> oh, look at Jack. Who's in the chat? He says, hello. Jack. Hello, hello. How many, how many? One bottle of water? Jack? You get it? No. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> what have you done to him? <laughs> what have you done to him? Is the question. We one, <laughs> one nasal spray. I don't... Okay. Uh, like, what would it take for him to... <laughs> no. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna have to spell it out for me. It's late. I don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've still got it, Greg. I've still got, I'm pretty sure I've still got it. I think. You're hitting 10. Did it hit 10? I think it I can't even remember. Honestly, my brain is skewed right now. I'm spelling brain rot bad. You are. You literally are. But you should have seen what they were typing, honestly. <laughs> I was actually crying at one point today. On there so was, was a, there was abs. there was a point before I started streaming. I was watching. You. I had you guys on the whole night, by the way. Yeah. Putting my tables together, and then there was a point just before I started streaming, and you two were crying <laughs> like I could. You couldn't even speak. You were laughing so much, yeah. and I was like, "This is the point where I sign off. I'm just not going to say anything." Oh. Honestly, <laughs> some questionable things were said. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> I'll find out after the stream. I'll find out after the Three stream. Three and a half minutes left on the art academy, by the way. Yeah, it's currently at thirteen oh, and a half. And what is that middle one? This one. It yeah. is the um, Pokey Card Creator Pikachu in a ten. I thought um, I could see that before. Yeah, you probably have. I didn't know if it was. A, I didn't know it was a big card. Yeah, maybe that's why it's seen it. Pop, big card. pop one of nine. Currently at nine thousand seven hundred. That's shot up as well. Um, I love getting new artists. I love for five dollars. Chloe, you are winning. You are literally winning. Four cards at five dollars each. Wait, what artist? Don't know. Oh, there is one she likes because I think we've sent her some cards from them. Who is it? By chance, <laughs> by interest, Chloe. <laughs> do let us know i was just gonna dm i was just gonna dm um i feel like there's carryover from your stream into this stream with like conversation that Probably i just is. don't understand oh that's why chloe wasn't and vinnie weren't even talking to us yeah because they were they were here they're in the better stream okay, obviously <laughs> obviously <laughs> all right <laughs> i shower not a scouse one <laughs> i'm gonna be so honest <laughs> Ten that oh my goodness, it's just gone off a thousand dollars right there. It went to ten, then it went to ten five. Art Academy hasn't had a bid yet, still got two minutes to go. What do we oh, reckon? I'm waiting for Chloe. I wanna see what it is. You wanna see what it is? Because I think we sent her some cards. <laughs> oh wait, I just realised I can't even say it out loud, can I? <laughs> she doesn't want it leaked. Keep it shtum. Who's that? <laughs> Bother. That does not tell me who the artist is. Who's that meant to be on? Arita? <laughs> Just let him be. Let I'm him be. the fine print. <laughs> In posse cannot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. The clay ones. <laughs> Surely, Chloe, at that point you can just say the name. No one's gonna no one's gonna steal your steal your cards. Yeah, honestly, Greg, this is like a back to reality stream. Like, cleanse your brain, cleanse your thoughts, happy vibes. So happy. Damn, Winters, that's insane. We pulled it on my first stream on Friday night. Um, yeah, I didn't realize it was such a hard box to hit, a uh, hard card to hit, even. Okay, oh, it's gone up to 11 now. Do we How think? How do you get that card? WB, that's like Warner Bros, isn't it? So it was like a, um, yeah, like a contest. Okay. Okay, you know, like art academies are, you know, like, mm. um, you know, like the Zoro Zoro art contest cards are. So it's always mm. the winners that have their car, their Crazy. designs it's, made. It's mad to think that some cards look so dead, but because of the rarity, are so much. Like Sam's Goonie. Like Sam's Goonie. <laughs> sorry, Sam, if you're watching this back. Sam, I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> it looks. <laughs> oh my goodness 
Um, yeah, Vimy, they don't, there's been a lot of like ups and downs and issues. So, oh, oh, I think the art academy just ended. Wait, oh, 16,200. The Pika just got another bid, taking it to 11 and a half. The Plasma Girl Zard, one of your dream Zards, 4560. Was, was it? Yeah, picking it up. There's a 10 Crow Crow Mew next week. Out of my budget. It's currently at like forty dollars, so it currently yeah. is in your budget. Can I have it for fifty? The jumbo ended at two thousand and seventy. That is such a sick card. Love that card. There's so many gold stars. I was up just tonight. gonna say about that. Japanese Charizard EX That's in a ten. Uh, green. Yeah. Oh, there's the Blastoise. There's the shiny Blastoise That's in cool. a ten. Six thirty. Was it you that said the texture was way better on them than the English? Yeah, it looked like it. It's like a disco ball. It like glitters. It looks so much. The the English look nice, but it not as yeah, it, not as nice. Not as nice. Okay, so highest item is now the creator Pikachu. Currently at eleven and a half. Let's see if so. That's ended sixteen thousand two hundred. That's still going. Do you reckon Pikachu will be last card standing? So what? I think green tea. Oh yeah, I love that card. So that's Japanese Sun and Moon base. Whoa. Yeah. That's odd. Bucks. Did you win? <gasps> Yay! I got my Marilyn Wait, card. Is that from 1956? Yeah. That's mad. <laughs> That's actually older than me. <laughs> believe it or not. It's older than me, believe it or not. That is hard to believe, to be fair. <laughs> Honestly, mad. who is he? Where did he come from? <laughs> He's your mate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I just love Marilyn, so we will keep that there. Right. Yeah, lots, honestly, so many nice cards up today. We running up Tilted Towers for an hour. We were talking about Tilted Towers earlier. Why? Because there's Fortnite cards today. Oh, there was a black shot. I can't stop looking at whatever's going on over there, honestly. I don't know what, I need to refresh. I need to absolutely get Linda off the screen why or whatever you, her name is. Why are you that, though? Because that targeted ads, I'm just saying. <laughs> you tell me. Oh, more Honestly, bids. twelve thousand now. What do you reckon that will go? What will go higher? That or the art academy? Surely the art academy. I don't know. Actually, this is absolutely creeping. Actually, I don't know though, because that sixteen k was with buyers premium. Yeah, that's what I mean. What so was that's it out before? Like three. Th and uh, thir thirteen five. So, oh. it's actually gonna go for more surely who is who's picking up this card if there's anyone in the chat picking anything up tonight that you're happy to share with us do let us know who's grabbing that card is that you jack jack said he's at chloe's so he can't play tonight where is he <laughs> jack he's disappointed he is disappointed green tea i don't even know i just know it's called tilted towers so it doesn't even exist anymore does it not no what happened to it? Got blown off the map. I think it was actually a meteor. Isn't that mad? Wait, what? How? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. How? Because it's a, just I in a, a game. I did a presentation about it in English. <laughs> I'm not joking. The fact you learn <laughs> about Fortnite and Stranger Things and what else did you say the other day? A kids' TV program that I was like. You learn about what I watched on TV in school. That <laughs> makes me feel like a 95 year old. Yeah. Honestly, it is wild. Yeah, honestly, Jack, NPC, all the way. All the way. Okay, 12 and a half. Where's it gonna go? Are you actually gonna jump on Fortnite after this? Greg, <laughs> are we actually gonna play for like an hour? I mean, the butler's the one that suggested it. I mean, it's 3 a.m. at this point, but... And we've got to clean up, clean up. We have got work to do tomorrow as well. Well, I, me and butler have got work to do tomorrow. For camping? Yeah. No idea. And you can't get out of it. What have I got to do? <laughs> Edit 17 plus <laughs> videos. <laughs> Maybe actually make one of my videos for one. Yeah, I was going to say, make maybe a Minecraft video, like, just... Possibly, maybe. By chance, by interest. Oh, oh th I think it might. That name. I Pokey Bench. Oh, welcome in. Kieran, member for 17 months. Thank you very much, Kieran. Appreciate you. Hope you are doing well. Um, Okay, 22 seconds to go. Is that 21 seconds to go? Do you know the 21 seconds to go song? No. Christ. Okay. How's Don't, it go? I'm not going to. Is it a theme song? <laughs> 21 seconds to go. 21 seconds to go. 
We have got 21 seconds. 21 seconds to go. Someone help me. <laughs> Someone save me. Is that it? Okay. Oh, does that end? No, it's oh. still going. Wait. It's still going. So it needs to go another 500 for then it to be. Oh, so it's currently where the art academy That's is mad. if it ends now. With, yeah, Jack, honestly, save me. Just rescue. Rescue me. That's also a watch, song. You watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Not the one that you did. Me neither. <laughs> Mate, that's mad. That's a, that is actually going to go for more. I think it is. I think we're Sam's crying. we're getting close here. Where's the gimme? This is the. <laughs> we don't talk about the gimme. This is the black label that went for first. Oh no, it wasn't. It was the other. It was no, the orange. No, that did go. Same it, night. Yeah, but it wasn't the th one that went over 30,000, though. No, I swear it did as well. I think it ended up going for more, but it just took longer. I swear it went for like 31. Wasn't it the other one that went for 31? No, I think it went for like 28. Oh, maybe. okay. Yeah, maybe I'm getting... Yeah, Butler, not you. Cougar? Why am I a cougar? Well, the animal. You're an animal. Yeah. I swear that is a thing. <laughs> like a leopard. <laughs> A cougar is someone who goes for younger people. Oh, like <laughs> the one that was just on your monitor. Wait, what? <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. Yeah, goes that. out with someone who's younger than them. <laughs> who's older? You're Butler. Butler. Butler's a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> this is Mummy B. <laughs> Intelligence levels in this stream have fallen. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone to fourteen now, so it's currently overtaken the um the art academy right there. <laughs> I, sw I swear this is the one in the black label that went for like thirty grand. Yeah, I think you're right. Now that I've thought about it, I think you are right. Oh yeah, honestly, Greg, it didn't take long. It didn't. Can you imagine if you've been here all stream? I would not have been as composed as I was earlier. It would have been more interesting. Honestly, yeah, the, Greg, don't call me that. These are still going, and these were slow at the beginning, so we're gonna keep those open. Oh, All right, let's oh, go to page. I don't know. My knees hurt. Yeah, <laughs> you're my what? knees. <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> Cool. Wait, oh, it's PSA four. It's PSA four. Yeah, it's a, it's a low grade. We got a raw shadowless Venusaur though. There, raw. didn't even see that. What is the what is the? I'm um, assuming it's right. Let's have a little look on the condition, shall we? Mm, the muscle. I'm assuming it's absolutely done for. Oh wait, what? It's a bit whitening on the back, thicker on the bottom than it is, is the is top it just as well. Me or is that like actually quite a good price? 88 bucks, yeah. Shadowless Venus or Shadowless. Bucks. Chat has derailed the stream. Zetch has derailed the stream, but we're here for it. We are here for it. That's pretty cool. Jack, I, I think love that's that, a bit that, of you, that frog. That one. Yeah. Are you trying to say it looks like Jack or just is a bit of him? I thought you were going to say, is he trying to say it looks like Kami? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Jesus. <laughs> Um, Vimmy, no, but I won the Marilyn Monroe playing card, so um, I'll take that. Did you win any chances? Did you win any chances, my friend? <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> I Fourteen and a half now. Tonight. Do you win any Coro Coro Muse? No. That's never gonna happen. Yeah, honestly, I'm telling you, collect Con Orlando, you will be a proud Coro Coro Mew owner. I need to. You will be. It, it's written in the stars. I can. Is it? Yeah. I don't know if it is. I can confirm. Greg would know. <laughs> <laughs> Little astronomer, astrologer, whatever. I don't even know. Oh, Greg, he doesn't even know your job title. Honestly. Just the Neo Density Chancy in an 8.5. Okay, nice. Very, very nice. Oh. Bit, that's just gone up a whole thousand now. Orlando Collecticon is the end of May. Houston Collecticon is in two weeks' time. I'm going to Houston. I will not be at Orlando. You'll be at Orlando. I will be at Orlando. With the... Sporting for duty. Butler. The butler. The butler. I could, yeah, I could pick you one up in Houston if I see one. What's yeah. your budget? You need to let me know your budget. <laughs> 25 quid. Mm. Sweet. Uh, Louis, I'm not actually bidding on anything now. I I got my Marilyn and I was happy with that. I swear we won't learn about her in school. 
Because that some <laughs> Yeah, I mean she is like Who was the, like your age? Who was the guy that did um the paintings and Andy like Warhol. Andy Warhol with the dots. And he did one of her. He did indeed. I don't even remember that name. He did what do you mean? That's like a really famous artist. Is he though? Different generations right here. Different generations. Um Chloe, no lie, could you guys pick me up one of those bulba shorts? Bulba la, 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 la. shorts. Bulba shirts. Yes, Greg. Yes. I can indeed. Just remind me. Remind me. I saw Chloe had one on Instagram. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Rocking it. Sixteen th- sometimes How did Chloe get one? sometimes they're in the chat. I, I, can you just order them off their website, I assume? Bulba store were here last PWCC stream. Um yeah. But you might not actually be streaming that much because it's EUIC. I'll stream from EUIC. Stream, Jack can be my sister. You heard it there first. Jack, you got a job for the weekend. Six sixteen and a half thousand right here on the this That's is now mad. flying. That was like it's slow and steady and now it's flying. By the way, within the that first went, minute, six hundred dollars. W- within the first minute of it going into the next bracket, it already got a new bid. Yeah, because it was up four minutes, and now it's mad. absolutely, whew, yeah, going up, up, up. A lot of gold stars. There has been so many gold stars tonight. So many. Are they, like all Japanese. Uh, a couple of English, but lower grades. I, I, won- I wonder what that noise was. Can you not get them anymore, Jack? Jack, have a little look. I'm pretty sure they weren't sold out. Because someone asked me about that and then they looked on the website and they managed to get one. But what is that? Lunala from Celebrations. Let's go for... S- In a 10. Is that 52? No way. Wait, what? The normal hollow is going for $52. No. <laughs> Is that? That's mad. Wait, are we missing something here? That is just the scroll over the the set number. Can you like, yeah? Is it because the geezers in the background or no? Hello. Wait, Butler, have you seen this? The $52. <laughs> yeah. Every, everyone is so confused right now. If, the, if you could see the butler's face, he's like... Nah, Jack's been smoking. <laughs> what has Jack did on it? <laughs> that, <laughs> must have been ac- that must have been accidental, no? Yeah, that's mad. Yeah, that's cool, fellas. Yeah, the shiny. Yeah, I am at a loss on the Lunala. If anyone can confirm if Lunala is high pop, yeah, low pop. Maybe the geezer in the background. <sighs> could be, it could be, or we've, or I'm not sure. I'm keeping that one open. We're all sitting on a gold mine, honestly. I've got a few new Lunalas rocking around. Really? Yeah. Away. I probably threw some away. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, he's back again. So I'm just trying to last until the stream ends, but I need to... Six minutes. It's good for your posture. It's good for your posture. If Lunala is last card standing, I'm eating pineapple pizza. Honestly, good job we did a little scroll there because we would have never have noticed that. I spotted that. That's a wild one. Hmm. That is a wild one. Eagle eye. Yeah, honestly, Lunala is the play, people. Lunala is the play. Right, I don't know if this is going to get another bid. 16,500. Six, it's got 50 seconds oh, wait, to it go. Goes, it goes to the next window, though. If it's green. Oh, yeah. It's the next window. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, my brain is... 17. Jesus. Oh, wait, so what is that with buyer's premium now? Shall I just bid on it for the bants? I mean, if your bank account can reach those kind of limits, then Sorry, I, won't bid then. I am there yeah. for it. Oh, why am I doing 17,000? 20%. Oh. 20,400. 
Oh, the, the, the Gyarados is popping up as well. And a couple of them. Just got a bit before that. Masaki in a 10 right there as well. Who's Masaki then? Whoever you want him to be. Oh. There we go. Let's see. Wait, this hasn't had another bid, has it? This went up to 56. No. Who wants that? What in the Lunala is going you, on here? But still, though, why? Why? Nah, hold on, hold on. I have actually got to take a picture of this. Have you got your bunches left? <laughs> what? Can someone confirm nor deny? It's me. What is going on? Has that just gone up again to 17, 17 and a half? yeah. Jesus. People are bidding literally within 30 seconds of that window changing, by the way. Wait, let's see if there's any other, like cars that we are completely missing out on there's there's n there's no way pop 37 i don't care if it's pop one Isn't it? it's a lunala <laughs> no one cares like what was that gold in the middle there there that is the shiny go lurk that, in an hey, eight yeah you guys i saw that for sale on different platform downstairs uh, earlier and i you guys have it in the shop <laughs> yes yeah we do have a few shinies no, nah, I am. I'm at the biggest loss that I've ever been in my life. There are Lunala fans out there, but I'm going to tell them right now they need to save their pennies. Mm. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That is the statement of the night. What's that? That's. We're back at the top now. Well, what was it though? Face set, shadow list. Oh, yeah, it's all the non hollows in tens. That's cool. Which is pretty cool. Cool. Let's go back to page one and see where we are. Let's go back. 17.5 still. Still. I'm so lost. Still going, the peak is shiny I right there. I keep thinking, I keep seeing those green uh, bids and thinking it's like uh, the end of it. The end is near. Oh. About to be pop 100, one, sorry, not even 100, 1,037. Yeah, there's no, there's no... Um, what? That is mad. There's no. I There's probably, just not a chance. I, I most likely pulled that today and I opened about five packs. That's what I mean. You get it literally every other pack. Wait, Chloe says. What? Mate, we need to start grading these. There is not a chance. There is literally. No. Is it a meme? I th waste money. Yeah, honest. I think we're memeing right now. I think we have memed. I think we are in a meme. Do you know what a meme is? I do what. I do what meme. <laughs> I do what no meme is. <laughs> Indeed. Wait, what? One forty in Feb. Three ten in Feb. One five one in Feb. Nah. Right, this literally it. has to be a joke. Butler, apparently this Lunala is a money maker. Lunala? So in Feb it sold for 140, 310, 151, 300. And I, I don't understand. This must be a joke. There must be someone making a video on this. There must be someone putting a big foot in the GSA 10 shop video and going, people are cool. So then they get the expenses for Hollow. Like, but it's a celebrations Lunala. Surely you just raising in the tent. Pop thirty seven. That's what I mean. But surely you just buy one for fifty p and then go to <sighs> social and experiment. Then spending twenty pounds. How many nines are there? Don't know. So if there's like two hundred nines, you're gonna spend eighty quid grading it. Cool. You get credit for your time. Lunala, here we come. Should we actually do that? <laughs> Should we just grade us stats? Yeah. I genuinely <laughs> reckon that. Put in GSA 10 shop, so that's it, wild. Should we just grade every card then? There's no know. error on that card that I can see. Donald, welcome in. Come. Butler said about people putting together the PSA 10 sets. So obviously, if only 30, yeah, if there's only 37 in the world, it means then putting together your PSA 10 set of Lunala is quite tough. So, but I mean, even then, 17.5 still, 20 seconds. 
Where's it gonna go? We don't have to go anymore. Oh. They heard you. Spoke too soon. Eighteen thousand dollars. That timing was nuts. Wait, what's that on? That WB. Yeah, Vimy. Vimy. Literally, open a yeah, pack and grade it. Surely that's cheaper. You literally get a Lunala in like every other pack. Oh, eighteen k. Oh, oh, they only get one minute now. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Fifty pound on a forty p card. Yet I still can't get a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> Like, honestly, the whole stream, he was like, <laughs> every time j people would spend loads or like win loads or something like that, he'd be like, oh, cheers, at blah, blah, can I have a tenner? Jack just wants a tenner. a tenner. Just got up to 18.5. That's nuts. And that Flareon. Oh, yeah. The um, Art Academy was from Dubsy, this collection, because it had the Dubsy yeah, security yeah. sticker on it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Greg has just tempted Jack there. Jack, does Chloe not have a PlayStation? As head of collector's card house clips, I find it disgusting. <laughs> 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 oh, this celebrations hollow stuff has blown yeah, my Jack's, mind. Jack's Went for $64. No, it got bidded up to that. Oh, no, it's... What? Lou Nala to the moon. Literally. Joke. That's still going. That was really slow at the start. I'd have to drive 20 minutes there and back afterwards. Yeah, do it then. 19k. Um, yeah, Jack's new whatnot collector's card house clipper apparently. Oh, I like it. Make them channel. make them good because I'll put them on um on the Instagram. Um, I I picked up something very cool, Butler. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mm, don't know. <laughs> Brand of air or no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Dress is coming next week. The dress. Mm hmm As hey. in like the card with her dress on is up next week. Merlin. Yeah. <laughs> but I got something else this week. Yeah, so twenty oh. views already. Jump on the oh, hype train. Shoe. Still going. Oh. No, not gone. part of her shoe. Playing card, PSA ten, Marilyn Monroe from nineteen fifty six. That's gangster. Twenty thousand. What do you think looks cooler? Actually, no, I think we all know. Yeah. <laughs> that picture of that new Nala. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the mic to be there. You weren't <laughs> expecting it to be there. Honestly, at this point. After two hours what's going to be the last Pokemon standing at this point? Because Lunala was not on the cards. You know, there was only 6,000 items up tonight. That's crazy. I think Lunala might. Did you see, see, lend us a tenner. Twenty and a half thousand dollars right here. That's crazy. It's absolutely flown. We were yeah, it was going to be above the Art Academy. Snackbread is saying Sandshrew is the last Pokemon standing. Is there a Sandshrew? There must be. Or. That's still going. The day, I can dig. Twenty thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, on or just even two thousand five hundred on <laughs> a single Pokemon card is the day I kiss the dirt below me and say thank you God for I have been blessed. Because that is different bread. I'll be <laughs> so honestly. So honest. Oh, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. I un I, I understand what you're saying, but I am at a loss. So for seventy nine dollars, <laughs> right there. That's rip, GG. Honestly, <laughs> I'll give Jack a tenner. I just feel like I've got to hang on now. Oh, congrats, snack bread, picking up the goods. I mean, if I can just say, oh yeah, Sanchez. Yeah. Lost. What was it? What ex? From Sandstorm. Oh, Sandstorm. That's cool. The one with like the silver border. Yeah, that super nice. Sick. They look sick. Did you see the bedside tables, Butler? Yeah, they're sick. Did you finish up in the shop? Yeah. Probably. Sorry, I've got beer in me. Did you bring up food? Yeah, I'm down there. Hmm? Yeah, I'm <laughs> down there. Oh, did you eat anything? What? No. Yeah. <coughs> there were four fantastic, bro. No, below the table. 
What's that? On the corner that was like towards the door. They're just talking about no. sweets. Yeah, like stuff like what that. Was yeah. it? No, I don't think it was. But it wasn't. Not the strips one. Maybe the joystick. I just want to see where this peaker goes now. The joystick. <laughs> what have you turned into that? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. 22... That's mad. That's when is it 1k increments now? 22 and a half now, yeah. 50 seconds. Fires premium. Guys. 22, 500. 45 seconds. 20, Surely. 20. Yeah. 27 with fires premium. And what, what was the other one? Six, no. What did it uh, go for? It was like 16, 2 or something. 10k more it's gone. For. Yeah. Mate. Holy. It's gone up again, 23. Did that just go up 500? Was it at 20? Oh, yeah, it did go up 500. I thought it was doing 1,000. That means we're hanging on for another 1 minute 20. That's crazy. 23. Oh, the Flareon. Flareon is creeping up. This is like the last couple of streams that it's got to, um, like, the biggest items. Like, last, time. last yeah. Jose, welcome to the membership. Appreciate you. 23.5. 20% on the buyer's premium. Did that just, go, it went up just before the timer went. So it now needs another bid. It's on 23 and a half. Jeez Louise. Can that guy lend Jack a tenner? Jose, no way. Oh my goodness. Pop one of nine as well. Right, come on. What's going to happen? But at this point, surely you're just like, oh, I'll whack another 500 on. Like, how? <laughs> when does it end? When do you get to the point where you're like, all right, I'll spend 23 and a half grand, but I won't spend 24. Enough is enough. <laughs> or that, when, when does it get to that point where you're like, nah, it's a bit too much for me. Must be nice spending. being a Minecraft YouTuber. Because <laughs> I wouldn't know. Oh, they heard you. <laughs> the oh. Minecraft YouTubers are out in force. Is this guy calling me out? <laughs> Is he saying I won't do it? it? <laughs> yeah. Is he saying I won't? Sounds about it. <laughs> 24 and a half. Holy smokes. Imagine it's just like Greg just buying it because he thinks it's funny. <laughs> Honestly. Greg, buy it and I'll sign it. And give it. Okay, <laughs> thirty seconds. seconds. We both got very different. <laughs> I said thirty. You said twenty-five. Greg, you're a beast. Holy. Twenty-five a grand. A quarter of a hundred thousand. Do you know how much a hundred thousand is? <laughs> His intrusive thoughts are wild. What? A quarter of a hundred thousand. Say twenty-five k. No. Well, no, because I was just going to lead into the fact that they have a 100k plus up there. Do you know what? It's going up again. I'm sorry I'm not a big time YouTuber like you. Neither but you are, though. Used That's the be. problem. No, you actually are. Used to be. How many subs do you have? I don't know. 25 and a half. <laughs> I, have, I have a quarter. Wait, I don't, do I even have a quarter of what you have? You've got a 20th. I have a 20th of Zetch's subs. For every sub you have, Zetch has 20. Sweet. No. <laughs> You're so bad at math. Oh, no, no. Five. No, hold on. Five. I have a fifth of his subs. Fifth. No, a seventh. Right. I have a seventh of his oh, subs. Wait, how many have you got? 60. I'm just about to hit 65k. You're like a. Five. 5.35. Yeah. He has five and a half times more subs than me, so right, you know. Everyone went. 27 grand. 27. The, um, the WB uh, creator Green. Pikachu, yeah. Pop one and nine. That's like 32k. Yeah, literally. Guys, what's going on? No, that is actually crazy. 12, 27.5. Do you reckon that's going to hit 30? Surely not, because that'll be like... At this rate, it might just hit 40. <laughs> it <laughs> might be just a big old Minecraft YouTuber being like, just spend another 500. I'm, I'm pretty sure Rusty has like... A Minecraft channel. Well, he must have, It's pop one of nine and a ten. I'm sure there's someone who has like multiple sets. Maybe it is Rusty. Twenty-eight. That, that is. That is. Oh, I don't know how much longer I can hold on for. <laughs> you gotta lock in. 
What are all these pr- uh, trains then? Like? Yeah, I know. There's loads of them still going. Why? Not a clue. 28, 10 okay, seconds. this is tense now. We're just here as like this watch party for this That's Pikachu. Oh, Greg, did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? Tilted Towers is a no go, apparently. Huh? What are you and Greg playing? <laughs> oh, um, Greg Butler, so I wanna play. Butler, do you want one of these peekers? Jose, who's watching, has one of the pop nine. Yeah. He just said, uh, "Do we know anyone who might want to buy a private?" Oh, Jose, I will let you know if I have any people like. Um, sometimes people comment or you know message me after the stream saying, you know, oh, do you know of any other cards of particular cards going? So if anyone does mention anything, um. I will definitely let you know. If you maybe just drop me a DM on Instagram, if you use Instagram, or you can email me at Fat Pokey Poe just so I've got your details. But that's insane. It's going to hit 30. Why would it not? It's only an extra 500. At that point, it's like 160 here. You may as well. Like, who who puts in 29 and a half and thinks, nah, nah, 30 is actually a bit too much for me? Bear in mind, it was at like 20 not too long ago. That's what I'm saying, 30 grand. So adding an extra 500, it just turned into adding an extra 10 grand. Like it is one extreme to the other, no? Just think, just think, if you were buying something for 30 quid. Yeah. That's like an extra 50p. 30 quid and 10k are two very, very different brackets. And that's a tax bracket I'm not in. Adding 500 to 30k is like adding 50p to 30 quid. You heard it here first, people. So Maths with Zetro. Down. If you're watching this, don't back down. Pay 40. Never back down. Never, never lose. Give never give up. Whatever it is. You know, never pay 30. No. Fortnite. No, I don't. He sounds like a great dude, though. Yeah, he is. Never back down. Never give up. Hello, Frankie. Hello. Hola. Como estas, Frank? <laughs> I don't know. Hello, how are you? Eight seconds. Don't back oh, down. Emil's got your your mindset. Just bid 35k at this point. Show you on it. Yeah. I think it has just ended. At 30k. Maybe. Wait, what? Maybe it's just glitched. Oh, yeah. there we go. 36,000. Guys, what a stream it has been. You see that all over Thank you for joining us for the last half hour. I will be back on Wednesday with the God Pack Hunt. We're nearly sold out on the God Pack Hunt. I might have to add some more packs to that. And then next Sunday, we will be back with my pack opening and PWCC. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And I'll see you again next time. Good night, Bye. everyone. Bye. Bye.